Hey YouTubers, it's Danny H, the actor who plays Rob and Brendan Blaine in the YouTube series Revelations of the Seal Boy Calcos. And I am here at my house for the next segment with my best friend from the show, Heather M, who plays Sky Silver. Everybody, like I said, I'm Danny H, the actor who plays Rob and Brandon Blaine. And I'm Heather M, and I play Sky Silver. Hi, I'm Heather, and I am 22 years old. I'm going to Penn State Berks with Danny Hayden and Anthony and all that fun stuff. Um, I'm 22. I already said that. Didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> a little nervous here. Um, I'm going for applied psychology, so I can psychoanalyze all you cool people. And uh, what else am I supposed to say, Danny? Anything about you? My favorite color is teal. <laughs> okay, so I know a lot of you have questions for Heather. Obviously, you can't really ask them because I don't. I didn't put it on Facebook that I was interviewing her today. It was kind of a last-minute thing. So, Heather, um, how did you get involved in the show, and who got you involved, and so on? You would say who got you involved because it was you, Danny. Uh, you told me about how much you loved Yu-Gi-Oh! and how you were doing a real-life series, and I'm like, hey, I want to get in on that. And I talked to Anthony, who plays Larthanox and Leslie, and... We talked about it, and finally I was able to talk with um, Tyler, who is the director, and the rest was history. <laughs> okay. So another question for you is, did you decide what kind of deck you wanted to use before you, like when you got involved in the show, or did Tyler do it, or was it me? I forget, honestly. <laughs> Um, when I first started, uh, Tyler wanted me to create my own deck, a Sky Silver deck. And I just went over to Danny's room, who lived on campus with me, and we went on Dueling Network, and I just said, hey, I like these cards, let's do it. And we pretty much built it around Dark Magician Girl, because she's honestly one of my favorites. And... <laughs> <laughs> Helicopter! <laughs> but yeah, so that's how I created my deck, and after we created it, Tyler looked it over and said, I think your deck could be a little bit stronger with X, Y, and Z cards. And now I've got one of the best decks I have on Dueling Network, and it's a lot of fun. So, um, and obviously my favorite card is Dark Magician. And since our characters are like best friends in the show, mm -hmm. we decided let's make our decks like very uh, similar yeah. so we can uh, play each other's strengths. And That's why um, our first duel, well, my first duel is with Danny because it shows the strength of our friendship because we trust each other enough to tag duel against one of the strongest characters in the show, so... Lord the Knox. <laughs> <laughs> so we kind of have a spoiler for you guys, kind of not. Um, Heather can tell you guys more about her than me. I'm just going to let her talk. <laughs> oh, is this about... Oh, yeah. who Sky Silver would work better with? No, um, or <laughs> for last year. For the finale? Oh, right, yeah. Why I wasn't in most of the recent episodes is because I went to Vermont for the summer when Danny and them went up to see Tyler in Canada. So that's why I wasn't in any of the newer parts. But we have figured it out, and I am coming back in... Which episode am I coming back Season in? three. Season three. So the finale, so, she's not in it, but she's mentioned, but... That yeah, you, you get to figure out what happened to me, and... Why your favorite character disappeared. <laughs> and we'll explain more in, I guess, season three with flashbacks and stuff, what yep. happened and all that jazz. And there's a lot more good stuff coming, so it's and gonna duels. be a good time. And duels. Lots of good duels. <laughs> <laughs> You'll see her true power! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> okay, well, we're gonna do something different this time because it's Heather. So I'm gonna have her 
talk about her three favorite characters in the show and why. And I'll, maybe I'll do mine too. We'll see. <laughs> You're going to! <laughs> it's my show, okay? Okay. Um, so my, one of my first favorite characters is going to be Valtor. I, I can't even explain how crazy his character is. He's completely insane. He goes from good to evil, and that it shows true character development. Plus, we've got a lot of cool stuff that's going to come in Season 3 that you're not going to see coming. It just makes you love him, even though you want to destroy, destroy him. Um, another one of my favorites is Brandon Blaine. He's my best friend in real life. He is my <laughs> So he's my best friend in the show, so... I've just got that automatic love for this character because he is pretty awesome. Yeah. Okay, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> and one of my other favorites, just because I can't take him seriously, is Larthanox. Because I, I, I legitimately just can't take him seriously. When we're filming, I can't even like watch him do his laugh because I just start laughing and then he starts <laughs> laughing normally and it's just it's not good. But and for the fact that he is evil, come on, evil's cool. You kind of got to like it. Hard on for heroes, mad face. <laughs> um, Hard on for villains, well, happy, happy face. Happy cat face. <laughs> um, that's one of my favorites too. Like the whole character development, which we know more about than you guys do, so you'll see more coming on in season three and stuff. And just like how Tyler does so many different roles is amazing. How he does a skull face, he does... Uh, Elysius is good, who's like a Seto Kaiba kind of thing. Valtor, who's like all the villains from Yu-Gi-Oh! combined into one. Um, Anthony's character, of course, it's Larthanox, <laughs> Slade, and Leslie. Anthony does a perfect job of going from the, uh, uh, hi guys, I'm Leslie, <laughs> to, I am Larthanox! <laughs> and like, like, we all know, and we all sucked in the first few times we started filming, but like, we all progressed from there. Yeah, like, Anthony... And- consistently got better. We all and we're not trying to, like, puff up his ego. No ego <laughs> boost here. No, he literally has been one of the characters that has leaps and bounds. He's so much better, and you can't help but kind of smile when he plays Larthur Knox. Like, you're just like, oh, that guy's creepy, but he's kind of cool. And when we were filming the one scene for our double duel against him. Yeah. We we were doing we took forever to film because we were laughing so much at the stuff we were talking about before we started filming. Yeah. Me river dancing because <laughs> I get bored. I start dancing for no reason. So. Comedic relief. But Cause, um, <laughs> yeah, no, that was a fail. And um, my third character had to be, even though she hasn't got much airtime. Sky Silver. And Probably because you know more about what my character is going to be doing in the future. Yeah, that too. Because I do get really awesome, I'm not going to lie. And I actually wrote some scripts already for her in Season 3, so Tyler likes he's going to fix it up and add some more good detail to it, so it's going to be awesome for Season 3, like, epically awesome. So in other words, it's going to be those three in the end, the next time we have an elimination? Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> and Brandon Blaine. Uh, well, yeah, that guy. <laughs> <laughs> that guy. <laughs> that guy with the face. That guy with the face, yeah. <laughs> the two faces. The two faces, Bob, <laughs> Brad. So this is my last question for Heather, and then we'll just do something else before we end it. So Heather, there's two questions for you. Um, the first one is, what do you do to get into character for Sky Silver? I was before, hoping you would ask this question. Before we start filming? Um, it's, it's really awesome. The way that I created Sky Silver, because Tyler gave me free range when it came to creating Sky Silver, and I love creating characters. I love writing. That's my thing. But um, I actually base Sky Silver f- very much off of myself as a person. Um, she's dedicated, like a strong-willed person most of the time, um, caring for her friends. So I actually don't have to do all that much to get into character because I am my character. <laughs> and it's, it's pretty awesome. I like that. And the sassy attitude once in a while, too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my last question for you is, I think we might have talked about it already in a few episodes before, but I'm going to ask you anyway. What's one of your favorite things to do filming with Anthony, myself, Kate, and everybody else, as well as what to do after we're done filming? You mean like what we do while we're filming that I really enjoy? And or? what we do after filming. Well, what I love... it even it, the, One of the reasons that it takes so long for us to finish filming a scene is because we joke around uh, probably a little bit more than we should. A lot of the time, I can't even take it seriously because while I'm trying to film like a really serious scene I'm like "Mm, mm," trying to be serious and then Danny or Anthony will say something and I just break character I just start laughing and when you laugh it's it's always a good time with 
the Revelations Pennsylvania crew. So and what do we what do you usually do afterwards when we're all on filming? Like what's the typical thing we usually do? What we did last year all the time. As like a, as a good job we're done filming for the day. Is that when we go to Applebee's? <laughs> <laughs> That's the only thing I can think of. Um, yeah, we usually go out to Applebee's and we'll you know we'll get food because we like food. <laughs> and we love stuffing our faces because we're fat asses. <laughs> <laughs> and then we say what we did good about that filming session. We say what we're going to do next time, what we could have done better. Like Because when you talk about things, like after you've done it, you realize, oh, we could have done X, Y, and Z a little bit better. Or I like how, Danny, I like how you said the Dark Magician at the very climax of the scene. It was very awesome. And it ego boost. Like, he gets better because he knows that he did something good. <laughs> or, for example, Danny, you actually said your line's very slow because usually I talk really fast. Yes. So when I do oh that... Oh, my God, I could understand you, Danny. <laughs> <laughs> that was impressive. I worked. Or how I can actually say my card name. Like, sometimes... I can't do it a lot of the time because they're just really long names I'm not good at it yeah we had that problem a lot with a bunch of our stuff yeah so it, it's like we end up having like a little powwow a heart to heart and it just it brings us closer together oh, yeah, as a cast and like yeah <laughs> all the times in my dorm room watching random movies or Netflix yeah or Jackie Chan Adventures or Jackie Chan Adventures <laughs> <laughs> but yeah so it's like a little powwow with between friends and family so Okay, so before we end the little segment, I have a shout-out for uh, Jake Scorpion because he asked me a question to ask for my next interview, but I wanted to get Heather's interview in first. So, Jake, I'm going to do your questions for the whole cast when Tyler comes down in summer for season three filming for some of the stuff. And the question he asked was, what character we think our characters match from the original uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! series? So we'll give you that next time, as well as... Uh, interview with the whole cast, Canadian and American, as well as um, I'll film some behind the scenes of us filming some scenes. So let's Maybe even some bloopers because we always screw up. <laughs> <laughs> so for example, I might be behind Tyler and he has a camera on Anthony, for example, and I'll just go like behind him filming what, <laughs> what, let's say, Anthony's saying. So you might get a little bloopers from that or behind the scenes. And now Heather has a shout out too for some fans. Um, I have a shout out for Hannah and Jameis. Because you guys are awesome, you strike up conversations with Sky Silver on Facebook, and you genuinely show that you love our series, and you try to give us really good uh, plot points that we can put in the show, and I personally really love it, I appreciate it, and I love talking to my fans, because they're really important, they're the ones that show that we actually kind of know what we're doing. <laughs> so if you ever want to get on my personal fan favorite for our next uh, segment, just Give me a shout out. We'll talk and, you know, we'll become friends. I promise. So add me. My Facebook page is Brandon Blaine and hers obviously is. Sky Silver. And I apologize if any fans try adding me on my personal account. Yeah, so, we don't do that. It's, yeah. We like to keep pet professional and personal completely separate. Don't take offense to it. No offense just, at all. Just So if you want to add us, we have our character profiles. And it's... even though I'm not on probably as much as I need to be in order to be very active on my Sky Silver page, but I will try and respond to every, like, uh, question or, uh, you know, anything like that, so. I try to check at least twice a day if I can, if I'm not working. Mine's, like, shit. once a week. So, <laughs> if we don't respond back right away. Don't take offense to it. We will get to it, we promise, because yeah. we do love you guys. You and guys mean a lot to us. Yeah, you guys are awesome fans. And, like I said before, I want to be like Jason David Frank from Power Rangers. He always talks to his fans all the time on Facebook, at Comic Cons, everything. So, I'm trying to be like him, because he's one of my role models. So Yep, and I want to be like Vic McNona, because he's awesome. He plays uh, Edward Elric in Fullmetal Alchemist and Fullmetal Alchemist Brotherhood. He's my favorite. He's cool. <laughs> So, <laughs> so thanks again for watching, guys. This thanks was, a lot. I appreciate it. This was a Sky Silver story. So, again, I'm Danny H. I play Robin Brandon Blaine. And I'm Heather M. And I play Sky Freaking Silver. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.